All I have in this world is my balls and my word, and I don't break them for no one. Do you understand? G'day legends, Chaos Chronicles, alright, so we are back with another video, and so I guess I'll give you guys an update on um, my corruption in my court case and what's going on with that, so um, firstly, I um, so I had court this week and um, um, just yesterday, and I... Um, had a pretty good day actually and as a matter of fact I don't think I've ever had such a good day in court but if you ask me it was very very suspect like very suspect so I guess I will start off by saying before I'd even got to court so when I was on my way to court I get a call from my barrister and he and he says, like, how far are you, away are you from court? I'm talking with the prosecution right now and they're talking about um, dropping the silencer and the gun charge. And um, so I was, like, pretty ecstatic over that and didn't even give it a second thought at all and just ventured on down to court. I was already on my way there, but I just ventured on down there and, um, yeah, I had to speak to my barrister and he said, look, they're, they're talking about um, striking out these <clears throat> and this is before I'd even been into court. Like this is the prosecution talking about striking them charges out before court, so dropping them before court. So, and I was like, well, that's that's awesome. You know, I'm not going to ask my, my barrister how he does his magic just as long as it happens, like I suppose. And so I... Um, you know, I just kicked along with it. But then he said, look, I think we're going to get called into court very shortly. So if you want to come and sit in the courtroom with me. And then so when I um, went and sat in the courtroom, I realised that the same judge who I was concerned about being corrupt and has been the judge right from the, the, the word dot was not there. And so I sat there for a bit and thought, oh, well, maybe – it's just this judge for this person and maybe mine might be coming on later. But, you know, I sat there through like three or four different clients before I said anything to my lawyer and like um, I, I scooted over closer to my lawyer so I could whisper to him and I said, um, do you know about, because I had a new, I had a, um, a barrister for my, for my case and not a normal solicitor. And so I was like, has um, my solicitor um told you about you know my concerns about the conflict of interest um and he said yeah definitely and i said so is this my judge now and he said yeah it is and i kind of gave him a funny look and he said i know but we'll talk about it later we're just going to kick along with it now and because i think it's going to be helping us you know and <clears throat> so basically i got those charges dropped before court and my court case was actually adjourned because I still have um, my um, breach of my intervention order by um, saying how much I love a family member. Um, and so if you know, you guys know that I can't say much about this. But, um, yeah, so I still have other charges. So anyway, it, it got adjourned. But, like, I think 100% that that is sus as so like I literally had the Herald Sun on standby waiting to talk to them to see what happened at court on Wednesday and to see if we're going to go ahead with you know unearthing the corruption in my case and um you know and then and then this happened and then not only did this happen but the main two charges which they've been so adamant this whole time that that were my my silencer and and my gun um, were were dropped before court. You know what I mean. And that these these charges have been going on for almost twelve months now. And so, like they've had plenty of time to do this. And I just think it's funny that the same week that I threatened to unearth a judge that's doing things that he definitely shouldn't be doing, 
that my charges were dropped and I mysteriously got a new judge. And usually you have to ask for a new judge or you will be given a reason why you don't have that judge on that day. And I wasn't given none of that. But I'm not going to lie. Like I took it all in my stride and and I was like pretty, pretty chuffed about the way the, the day turned out. And, um, you know, as, as far as the other charges, you know, we're going to fight them as well because, um, yeah, I, I shouldn't be having, um, six car loads of police come to my house, like legitimately about 10, 12 police officers, um, and, you know, beating down my door. And, you know, manhandling me and roughing me up in that because I'm standing my ground because, well, it's my house. And, you know, they didn't have a warrant and they were trying to break their way into my house. So, of course, I'm going to have something to say. So then I'm being, um, what's the word, I don't know, standoffish with them. So they automatically, you know, all attack me and throw me on the ground and whatnot. So I, <clears throat> it's just, yeah, I just think it's it's absolutely bonkers that, you know, they send six carloads of police to my house for saying how much I love and miss a family member and, um, you know, and there's people out there right now that are betting their wife, you know, beating their kids, you know. Unfortunately, some people are even unaliving their wife and unaliving their kids and, and 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 it seems like the 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 courts will do nothing about it. You know what's really funny about this domestic violence stuff, though, is you see it more and more every single day in the news. You know, on social media, on any type of news, what you listen to, you always hear about it. On you know, police officers more and more getting involved with crime, or police officers getting done for domestic violence against their wife or their children, and this is a very common thing these days. Not so long ago, you know, police officer got, um, last year got charged for, um, it might have even been earlier on this year, for, you know, unaliving his ex-boyfriend and his ex-boyfriend's new boyfriend. And, you know, endless amounts of police, um, I, I think I've made my point, I could go on forever about this, but, you know, I just think it's funny how, you know, you, you you just you never see the outcomes of what happens to these police with these domestic violence stuff. Yet they are so quick to try and plagiarize my name, or try and um, you know um, you know defame my character, or, or or you know slander my character or whatnot. And I just yeah, I think it's funny how. Um, yeah, I think that that karma came around and 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 bit the the law on the backside on this one, and I, and I, I I can't lie, like it was one of the best days I've ever had in court. I went from you know looking at serious jail time to looking at zero jail time, and um, which is pretty good. And you know I've been pretty stressed, and um, you know got a lot of stuff going on, you know, in my um immediate family at the moment which which is you know kind of stressful as well and i'm just glad that i've got that little burden off my back you know and it's just like it's an absolute win and i know that all you guys will be stoked that that's how it's happened but you know i think that it just shows that 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 there was definitely corruption in my case otherwise it wouldn't have ended the way it ended you know what i mean i definitely think that me threatening to go to the Herald Sun or the media about, you know, the corruption in the court system and how I have absolute proof of it. Now, like, keep in mind, I, like, deliberately said things in court, like I told you on my last video, so that it would be in the transcripts of how this guy knows me from a personal life before he was a judge when he was a solicitor and, you know, and, and, it just goes to show now that that obviously this stuff is happening and and you know I'm glad that that I spoke up about it you know I had a lot of like built up like anxiety inside about talking about it because it's kind of against my being and like but I thought at the end of the day like this guy isn't a criminal you know what I mean and so like I have absolutely you know no problems on you know trying to stop other criminals from getting put in jail 
by this character, you know. And, um, yeah, and, and what's funny is like over the past week since I posted that video, people that have been watching me from my local area have contacted me and said that, you know, this isn't the first time that this particular um, judge you're talking about has done this and like yeah i just think it's it's absolutely yeah bonkers that in 2024 that the the person that you're going to court for for allegedly being a criminal is being you know a worse criminal than than you were and i just think that that's that's hilarious so um yeah Kudos to you for, for not getting me extradited to Queensland when they tried to extradite me to Queensland because it was the same judge. And he said that I'm not going to let um, Mr Hughes get extradited to um, Queensland because I think that he's going to get more time on this case here. And what's funny is that other Queensland one got dropped and now this one's got dropped. So, yeah, I'm a pretty pretty happy man about that. And, um, yeah, so I just thought I'd, I'd drop a video about that and let you guys know that, um, you know, that's how it all went down. And, and although I still have, like, stuff to do with um, court, it's, it's all, you know, stuff that I believe in good time, I can, you know, walk from them charges as well. Um, and it just goes to show that, you know, sometimes, you know, people in that were, that are criminals or whatnot, they will not take a deal because, you know, um, or, or that, I mean, they will take a deal because, you know, the time that you're looking at spending on remand is going to be, you know, three times longer than you would have done anyway. So people just want to get it over and done with and get out. So, like, just goes to show that sometimes when you hang in there and um, be patient and don't act the way you normally would and do silly things, that it actually works and pays off. So, um, yeah, I just want you guys to know that, you know, especially with court and stuff like that, obviously if you don't do drugs and crime and shit, you won't end up in court. But, you know, it pays to have a, a very patient head when you're going through the court process because it can make you very fucking angry and can make you want to snap at so many different turns but you've just got to keep a cool head and hang in there and you know i think that the proof's in the pudding and does that mean that if you keep your patience and hanging in there you're going to get a murder charge dropped you know i'm not saying that but i'm just saying even with that like keep a cool head especially when you're in in the courtroom you don't want the judge and the jury to see you being the exact person who you're trying to defend against that you're not you know so yeah well there you go guys um yeah just thought i'd let you guys all know um stay tuned for tomorrow's video so tomorrow's video i will be doing a video on um why everyone's very cautious and don't mess with the curries so uh, a lot of people have asked me to do a video on the curries so um yeah i will do that and um yeah so stay tuned for that one and um yeah, I will keep you updated with what's going on with the rest of my court. But for the most part, the worst part of it's over now. And so I'm wrapped about that, which means that I'm this close from having all my criminal matters like over. And it's a very, very good feeling. And yeah, I'm pretty stoked about it. But anyway, guys, I have been the Chaos Chronicles. You guys have been absolutely awesome. But before I go, if you haven't jumped up there and shot me a subscription, if you could jump up there and do that, that would be absolutely awesome somewhere up here and also if you hit that bell you'll get a notification every time i drop a video and you won't miss any of my videos so all right guys i will see you in the next videos i'm also the guy who decides if you and your friends walk out of here or not